I'm here with Peter Bashar. Hi, Peter. Hello, Jeannie. How are you? Thanks for coming out in the snow with me. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> so, but you've been here for a long time. This is my first time at Davos, but this is not your first time. Tell yeah. me, how long have you been coming to Davos? I think I've come here six or seven times at this point. The company's been coming here for 30 years or so. We were one of the first strategic partners for the forum, and it's been a long and really terrific relationship. That's fantastic. So, Marsha McLennan, what is the purpose of us as a company being here? I think one of the things that's so exciting, Jeannie, is seeing us uh, showcase our intellectual capital on a whole series of really the most important challenges of our day. So you saw Marsh put out the Global Risks Report and really talking about natural catastrophe. Uh, Mercer really tackling gender equality head on with the program that Julio and Pat Absolutely. led earlier today. Uh, Oliver Wyman's going to be talking about the fintech changes that are going on, and we hosted an excellent breakfast this morning on cybersecurity and the way the threat landscape is changing. So you really get just a, a feel for the breadth of the company's operations. Yeah, it's great, and I think you know as I've been going to different sessions and venues, one of the conversations always comes back to future of work. If it's climate change or massive weather, it talks about infrastructure impact. If it's cybersecurity or different breaches, it comes back to infrastructure impact, which then goes down to the need for us to look at the future of work, automation, AI, who we're bringing into workforce, how we're bringing the workforce. Would you say that at the end of the day, the biggest theme at Davos and the World Economic Forum in 2018 always will come back to the future of work and how we're going to solve that challenge? I think almost undoubtedly is just this need to be nimble and agile in this rapidly changing technological environment, but really even broader than that. And we're thrilled that Scott McDonald, the CEO of Oliver Wyman, is going to be talking on the future of work and what is the workforce really going to look like? What are the skill sets that are needed at our big client dinner this evening? Yes, so I'm looking forward to I it. I am too. I yeah. won't miss that one. And we'll be talking to him on camera, so hopefully you can join us. Great. Great. Many thanks, thanks Jeannie. Thank you. Take care.